why there's no like terms. Like terms are defined as being on the same side of the equal sign. So right here, these things are not like terms, but we can move one of them. We can either add or subtract to get rid of the smaller of the two variables. Do you remember how to do that? Yeah. yeah. So when you're doing these problems, make sure you do a couple things. First thing, you need to simplify because I'm about to give you some parentheses. We're going to distribute. We're going to combine some like terms. We are going to do that. So step one would be simplify. Simplify. Step two, you're going to eliminate your smaller variable. The reason why you choose a smaller one is so that you can keep your variable positive. That's why you want to do the smaller one. Step three, you get rid of the constant term. That's the number without the variable. Eliminate the constant. That's going to be by addition subtraction. So you're going to do add subtract, add subtract. The last step is to get rid of the coefficient by dividing. So this is a plus minus step. This is a plus minus step. This is a division step. How would you simplify it first? Well, we'd check it to see if we could simplify it. In this case, we have no parentheses, we have no like terms, so it's already simplified. But you do get a check first. Second step, we go down here, eliminate the smaller variable. We're going to find if we have a smaller variable. Now look at the previous problems for me, please. Over here, you, do, you would still do this. You check to see if you can simplify it. You can't. You check for two variables. <coughs> There's not. There's only one. So then you're, you're set, you get rid of your constant, and then you divide. Are you with me on that? So over here, you didn't have the two variables. It was kind of like a step for free. Over here, though, we, we wouldn't be able to simplify, but we would be able to get rid of our smaller variable. What is our smaller variable? How are you going to get rid of it? Yeah, you want to get rid of the whole thing. So no division here. That's your last step. We get 4.2 equals 2x plus 11.6. Hey, now we get a problem that looks like these over here. Now we can solve it the rest of the way. You're going to get rid of your constant term first. What's your constant term here? 11.6. So how are you going to, rid, going to get rid of 11.6? Okay. On the right side, I know I'm going to get 2x. On the left side, don't be afraid to do that work off to the side. If you try to do it in your head, maybe that's where you make a mistake. I don't know. We're doing 4.2 positive. 11.6 and we're subtracting that. The signs are different. Do you follow? Yeah. We're subtracting. We're doing addition rule here because we're adding subtracting. So our signs are different. That means we're going to subtract. So watch how I'm going to do this. Signs are different. I'm going to take 11.6 minus 4.2. I'm going to get 7.4. The question is, is it positive 7.4 or negative? negative? So you've got to use those addition rules appropriately even still. So we have different signs, you're adding subtracting, so you're using addition rules. Signs are different, subtract, keep the sign of the bigger number, that's going to be negative. That's what goes there. And you're one step away, the last thing you're going to do is what? Divide. 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 If we divide, I know that on the right side I'll get x, that's what I want to have. On the left side, you're going to do 7.4 divided by 2. Is our answer going to be positive or negative, folks? Negative. 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 Good. 3.7. You are combining these two. You're subtracting. Notice this is 4.2 minus 11.6. That's. The thing about the. See, okay. Hang on, let me, let me finish this off and then I'll go back to that. So, oh, I'm sorry, what'd you get? 
Okay, let me clarify this just a little bit, this part. If you're going to take 4.2 minus 11.6, here's what it looks like. It looks like 4.2 minus 11.6. You follow? Yes. That's what you're doing. Now, instead of taking minus 11.6, you can change that to 4.2 plus negative 11.6. Do you remember that that's possible? Yes. yes. Are the signs the same or different? Different. You're going to add or subtract. subtract? When you subtract, though, you can't do 4.2 minus 11.6. It doesn't work. You're going to have to do 11.6 minus 4.2, get 7.4, and then realize the bigger number is what's keeping that negative. That's the way you do that with the addition rule. Does that make sense? Yes. I kind of omitted that step, but that's kind of an important one. Okay, so we're simplifying if we can. If you can't, no big deal. You're getting rid of the smaller variable if you have two of them. If not, no big deal. Then we're getting rid of our constant term by addition subtraction, and then finally we're dividing to get rid of our coefficient. Try one of these on your own. We'll do one more example together. I'll give you one on your own, and that'll end our, our section here. So simplifying, we really don't have anything to simplify here, but we do have two variables, so you should be getting rid of the smaller one. After that, get rid of your constant term. After that, the last thing you do is divide. the uh, 6.3 one yet. Yeah. Hey, what's a smaller variable? Four X. So the first thing you should have done on your paper, get rid of that 4x. That means you're going to subtract that from both sides. You'll get 3x plus 3.2 equals, equals what? Negative, Negative 1. 1. Good, 6. you keep that sign. Did you make it that far, folks? Give me a little head nod if you did. Yeah. Yeah? This side? Yeah. All right. Hey, what's the next thing? Do we get rid of the 3, the 3.2, or the negative 1.6? Negative 1.6. Do we get rid of that one? No. No, 3.2. Oh, we get rid of that one. How do we get rid of the 3.2? Subtract. We're finding a 6.3 negative 1.6. 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 Negative 
minus 3.2. If you need to write off the side to get the right answer, do it off the side. Don't just do it in your head, otherwise you're going to make a mistake on this thing. Notice how this right here means negative 1.6 plus negative 3.2. You with me on that? Yeah. Sign same or different? Same. Add or subtract? Add. Add. Add and keep the common sign. So you're going to keep it negative. So if I add these together, negative 4.8. By a show of hands, some people made it down that far. Good for you, that's fantastic, it's really good. And then lastly, well lastly we're going to divide, get rid of that 3. If we do, that means on both sides, we'll get x equals, if you do the division, it's certainly going to be negative. You're going to get, what is that, 1.6? We get a 1.6. You what now? Okay. Feel okay with it? Yes. Right. There are other ways you could do it. For instance, you could subtract the 7x first, just you have to divide by a negative at the end. That's what I want to keep you away from, that way we don't make any sign errors on that. Now the last example we're going to do together, I'll give you one to do on your own in just a bit, is this one. Hey, when we're looking at this thing, okay. what would be the first thing that happens? Um, distribute. Distribute. Yeah. Sure, we got to get rid of parentheses. Remember, if you're not quite sure what to do, compare this to a problem that you do know what to do. So for instance, if you, if you look at this like, I have no idea what I'm doing here, maybe write something out like 3x plus 2. On 3x plus 2, you know you get 3x plus 6, right? Because yeah. you're multiplying there. That's the same thing we're doing here, only now you have a decimal. So in our problem, we'll leave our 6.3 minus 5x. On the right-hand side, we'll get 3x plus, you're going to multiply both those things. So 2.9 times 3 should be uh, 8.7. Yeah. 8.7. How are we getting 8.7? Yeah, you multiply. Three times. Okay. So I'm doing this. Maybe up to the side you want to do that. 2.9 times 3. That's going to be 8.7. That's going right there. That's where the 8.7 is coming from. Now this looks like a problem we've done before. Tell me something, folks. On this problem, do we have two variables? Yes. yes. Do we have any like terms? No. Oh, oh good. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. We don't have any like terms. They're on different sides. However, we do have a smaller variable here. What are we going to get rid of? The minus 5x or the plus 3x? The minus 5x. Great. Yeah, keep it, keep it positive. So add 5x to both sides. <laughs> 6.3 equals 8x plus 